Can we start? An adult human can last 40 days without food, a week without any sleep, three days without water, but only five minutes without air. Yet, nothing is more taken for granted than the air we breathe. However, not just any air will do. It must be exquisitely designed to meet our needs. Too little oxygen in the atmosphere will kill us as well too much. A very enlightening and informative morning to one and all on the second day of the Oxygen Week celebration that is on 10th July 2021. And on this igniting day, I extend a very warm welcome to our exemplary principal, Bhaiya Abhinav Kumar sir, vice principal, Mr. Ed Diwari, adorable parents and guardians, my loving fellow colleagues, shining stars of our school and the budding talented participants, our frontliners, the very stage performers of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, the very purpose of the Oxygen Week celebration is to create a wide range of awareness about oxygen among the students, parents, guardians, and of course, the common mass. Oxygen is important to each and every cell in our body. Oxygen through a precious call, through, sorry, through a process called oxidation, chemically changes food into energy. It's this oxygen fire that contracts our muscles, repair our cells, feeds our brains, and even calm our nerves. All of us are aware of the oxygen cycle, circulation of oxygen in various forms through nature. It remains free in the air and dissolved in water. Plants and animals use oxygen to respire and return it to the air and water as carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is taken up by the algae and terrestrial okay. green plants and converted into carbohydrates during the process of photosynthesis. Oxygen being a byproduct this oxygen is taken by us. Oxygen plays a vital role in the breathing processes and in the metabolism of the living organisms. Better performance in the human body can be improved by feeding the brain with extra oxygen. Stephen Lemon says, oxygen plays a pivotal role in the proper functioning of the immune system. We can look at oxygen deficiency as the single greatest cause of all diseases. Very truly said. It is very truly said by Stephen Levine as he says that oxygen deficiency as the single greatest cause of all disease. Now, keeping the awareness and its remedial measures, we are once again on the floor and to proceed ahead, I grab the opportunity to request our righteous principal, Bhaiya Abhinav Kumar, sir, for his words of welcome. Sir, please. Thank you, ma'am. And very good morning to all the spectators online, dear parents, guardians, my dear children, and all learned colleagues. Today is the second day when we are organizing this Oxygen Awareness Day, we are celebrating. Yesterday, many of the children, they come up with beautiful idea about oxygen. A very tiny particle in this universe. But when we go on the intellectual exploration of this tiny particle, we find that we need to explore the entire universe. It covers almost every aspect of the pursuit of knowledge, whether it is chemistry or physics, biology, even in social science, our own psychology and lifestyle. Everything is touched when our children has given it as an example yesterday, variety of activity they have presented through their wonderful 
PPTs, videos, songs, artwork, and through every activity, they have explored this part of knowledge of oxygen, its need, its utility, and the most important, how to preserve it for future well-being. Dear children, when uh, you explore or you, when you participate on uh, such activity, in fact, you integrate your innovative artistic knowledge with science. And this is the main theme of the national education policy also. Integrating knowledge, science with social science, engineering with art, combining all these things. And what, as a teacher, we have seen that the children, those who were more active in such activity, they are more skilled in their life. They are more happy in their life, even if they are not academically so strong. But they, are, they, they develop their life skill and they are more successful in their life. It doesn't mean that academics is something which is not needed. It is equally important, very important, and provides the base. But academics with creativity, with innovation, with uh, uh, such activities, integrating our academics with art and culture, it strengthens our own skill, life skill. And this is what our school, our CCA department is doing for all our children. So the entire team of teachers, they are taking pain, they are uh, giving opportunity to our children. And children are also equally enthusiastic. They, they are coming up with beautiful, innovative idea uh, through different means different ways of their interest. So thanks to everyone. And I wish a good time today once again. And with uh, a word of uh, expectation from our children that let us explore more and more. This is school will is open to all good thoughts, good idea, good innovations. You come up with your idea, your teacher will support you, your teacher will guide you to uh, explore a wider origin, a higher knowledge, and you will be more empowered. So, thanks to everyone and wish a successful and very enjoyable time in this Oxygen Day. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for all your inspiring words that you have spoken, encouraging the students, advising them to come forward. And of course, the teachers, the pillars of the school to work hard along with the teachers to get success there in the life of these children. Thank you so much. Now, oxygen is the source of life to all cells. And to throw more light on oxygen, which is the source and force of life, here comes Navarun Halder of class 12. Good morning, Honorable Principal Sir, respected teachers, and all my dear friends. Today, I, Navarun Haldar of Class 10B, going to deliver a short speech on the topic Oxygen, the Life Source, and the Life Force of All Human Beings. Yes, the purpose of having Life Source and the life force is nothing but to enjoy a sound health and a healthy living generation on earth. Bhyamath lavati swasthya dirghayusam balam sukham. Arukyam param bhagyam 
स्वस्थायाम सर्वार्थ साधन टुडे आई वॉन्ट टू रेज ए क्वेश्चन दट वाई देयर इज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ लाइफ ऑन ऑनली मदर अर्थ इट इज वेल नो दट हाइड्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन मॉलिक्यूल इंटरमिक्स टू फॉर्म वाटर which is the major reason behind the presence of life on only earth and that's why the researchers the scientists are still searching whether there is a presence of life on any other planet of the solar system oxygen is basically a colorless and odorless gas which is present in several compounds water as well even our body requires oxygen for the function of various metabolic activities our body inhale oxygen in our lungs for the proper function of respiration after gaining oxygen our body eventually distributes it to every cell of the body for the production of energy and that appears as a life source of all human beings it is well known there is a significant time interval between the oxygen producing organisms and the actual oxygenation in the atmosphere despite its importance to human beings human did not discover the oxygen in the atmosphere still 230 years ago still we don't know that our body have specialized oxygen sensing tissues such as carotid body even our cells in human body lives under different oxygenic condition even the intracellular oxygen tension is much lesser than in blood and air oxygen help in repairing of tissues not only that our body stored oxygen for the emergency use so that we can survive in critical situations so it's our duty to ensure that we should not destroy the forest that provides abundant supply of oxygen that is nothing but the life force so at this juncture of environmental degradation i would like to quote कैसा मंजर है ये क्या नजारा दिखने लगा है पानी तो पानी अब हवा भी बिखने लगा है सो आई अपील टू ऑल मैन काइंड थ्रू दिस क्लैरियन कॉल लेटर्स कम टुगेदर टू प्लांट मोर एंड मोर ट्रीज लेटर्स छप टुगेदर to pollute the air let us stop together to destroy the forest and let us think together that nature is enough for our need but not for our greed thank you i feel very well said nabaru it was thank indeed you, a very informative speech and inspiring as well Now to enchant you all here, we have a budding talent being presented before us is Arav Nandan of Class Two C. Arav Nandan, Arav Nandan of Class Two C. Yes, come up, bitter. Good, good morning, everyone. Honorable Principal, sir, respected teacher, and my dear friends, good morning to all of us. I am Arav Nandan. of standard 2c i am going to give my talk about value of oxygen we all know that mammals need a number things to survive the most essential two things are surely oxygen and water these two things are absolutely necessary for mankind oxygen is basically colorless and odorless gas which is a part of several compound all the living beings inhale oxygen in their lungs for proper respiration and proper functioning of cell we get a bodily supply of oxygen we get a bodily supply of oxygen 
so do not cut down trees clear out for rest rather we need to more plant trees thank you happy oxen week thank you thank you very well done it's a good start wish you all the best ahead now save tree save life here comes parky anand of class 2a with a beautiful presentation on saving trees saving life come on parky <laughs> और मेरे प्यारे मित्रों सुप्रभात आदरणीय शिक्षागण और मेरे प्यारे मित्रों सुप्रभात मैं पाखी आनंद कक्षा द्वितीय की छात्रा हूँ मैं आज आप सबके सामने एक नाटक प्रस्तुत करने जा रही हूँ जिसका शीर्षक है पेड़ लगाओ ऑक्सीजन पा पता लगा एक समय की बात है क्या करूं कहा से पैसे कमाऊं ऐसा क्या करूं जिसे मैं मारा माल हो जाऊं ये तो कितना बड़ा पेड़ है ये पेड़ तो कितना मोटा है अगर मैं इसे काट लू तो बहुत पैसे मिलेंगे मैं आड़ी से पेड़ काटा हूँ कितनी गर्मी है ओह कितनी गर्मी हो रही है अब तो बहुत पैसे मिलेंगे कुछ समय के बाद मैं कैच क्यों नहीं ले पा रहा हूँ मुझे ऑक्सीजन की कमी हो रही है ए भगवान मुझे बचा ले ये तो वही पेड़ है जिसे मैंने काट डाला था अब इसे ना होने की वजह से मैं साफ नहीं ले पा रहा हूँ मुझे माफ कर दे मैंने तुझे काट डाला अब अब मुझे अपनी गलती का साफ हो गया है ए पेड़ मुझे माफ कर दे मुझे अपनी गलती का साथ से मैं पौधा लगा रहा हूँ पौधा लगाए ऑक्सीजन पाए जीवन बचाए धन्यवाद वेरी वेल सर वेरी वेल डन वेरी वेल परफॉर्म पाखी Yes. So the seed, let it grow and get the benefit. Very true. Thank you. And moving ahead. Thank you, Baki. Thank you so much. Moving ahead. A tree means life. It gives us our vital oxygen, which is the utmost thing needed in life. And here we have Mayanshi of UKG A before us with her thoughts through a poem. Mayanshi. डॉक्टर हमसे बहुत सारा पैसा लेकर हम ऑक्सीजन लेते हैं लेकिन पेड़ हमसे पैसा नहीं लेते फिर भी वो हमें ऑक्सीजन फल फूल जड़ी बूटिया और लकड़िया देते हैं और हम पेड़ को काट देते हैं यह तो अच्छी बात नहीं है मैं मैं से यूके जी की छात्रा ये आपसे निवेदन करती हूँ आओ मिलकर पेड़ लगा आओ मिलकर पेड़ 
सर्वान पराभवाये देश मना वातावरण को स्वच्छ मनाकर इस जीवन को स्वस्थ मनाए पेड़ न कोई घटने पाए जंगल अब न घटने पाए मिलकर शुद्ध का समय खाए आओ मिलकर पेड़ लगाए पेड़ देते खाना वायु जीवन इनसे हो दे भाई खुश समझे और दो को बताए आओ मिलकर पेड़ लगाए हर एक का ये फल से मनता कम से कम एक पेड़ लगाए फल पर बढ़ते प्रदूषण पर आओ मिलकर रोक लगाए आओ मिलकर पेड़ लगाए पगा भगाए देश मनाए धन्यवाद Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. So very true. A tree saves. Very true. It is that save a tree. It does not charge any fee. So please, all of us, keep in mind that as far as possible, or as much as possible, we must so that see or plant a tree. Now to create awareness on tree, the oxygen giver. Here comes Vishesh Varun of Class One C with his slogan. Good morning, ma'am. My name is Vishesh Varun One C. In planting trees, if you take pain, there will be more oxygen and abundant rain. पेड़ हमारे लिए बहुत जरूरी है ये हमें ऑक्सीजन देते हैं जिससे हम सब जीवित रहते हैं इसलिए हमें बहुत सारे पेड़ लगाने चाहिए अगर पेड़ नहीं होंगे तो हम सब जीवित नहीं रहेंगे एक दिन ये पेड़ बोले ए इंसान छोड़ अपना अभिमान मत काट ये जंगल इन पेड़ों में भी है जान धन्यवाद वेरी वेल सेड विशेष थैंक यू सो मच एंड हियर वी ब्रिंग फॉर यू अ स्मॉल चाइल्ड हु बिकम्स अवेयर ऑफ द ऑक्सीजन थ्रू हिज फादर ब्यूटीफुली and he responds to the journalist who asked him the question on oxygen so here we present before you daksh tiwari of class 2a daksh tiwari please yes ma'am hello hello aap kya kar rahe ho हेलो हेलो आप क्या कर रहे हो मैं पौधा लगा रहा हूँ क्यों मेरे पापा जब भी न्यूज देखते हैं तो उसमें सिर्फ ऑक्सीजन की ही बात होती है देश और दुनिया में ऑक्सीजन की बहुत कमी है तो मैंने एक दिन पापा से पूछा कि पापा ये ऑक्सीजन क्या है तो मेरे पापा ने बताया है आपके पापा ने और क्या बताया मेरे पापा ने पेड़ पौधे हमें स्वादिष्ट फल सब्जियाँ रंग बिरंगे फूल लकड़ी दवाइया परफ्यूम चाय के पत्ते और भी बहुत सारे चीज देते हैं तो आइए पौधा लगाना सीखते हैं पहले हम लोग थोड़ा सा मिट्टी डालते हैं उसके बाद ये पौधा हम लोग इसमें लगाते हैं फिर हम लोग इसमें थोड़ा सा और मिट्टी डाल देते हैं दिख रहा है 
फिर हम लोग इसमें थोड़ा सा पानी डाल देते हैं आपने देखा कि पौधा कैसे लगाते हैं तो आप लोग भी पौधा लगाइए और ऑक्सीजन बनाइए अपना नाम तो बताइए ये हमें देगा फल ऑक्सीजन लकड़ी और आम और जब बहुत गर्मी होगी तो इसके नीचे करूँगा आराम अपना नाम तो बताइए मेरा नाम दक्ष तिवारी है मैं कक्षा दो का छात्र हूँ मैं डीएवी पब्लिक स्कूल सीसीएल गिरिडी में पढ़ता हूँ धन्यवाद थैंक यू दक्ष इट वॉज रियली वेरी इंफॉर्मेटिव बहुत अच्छा टू गुड एंड आई एम श्योर दैट अदर्स विल ऑल्सो टेक अ लीड इन प्लांटिंग इफ यू चिल्ड्रन बिकम अवेयर ऑफ सच प्लांटेशन टेकिंग केयर ऑफ द ट्रीज the day is not far when we'll have this pure air to breathe right it's of course um the air that we breathe should be pure and which was once free for our survival now is undergoing a change and why is that let us listen from ananya prasad of class 2a ananya prasad <coughs> अरे ऐसे बोली बेटा कैमरा वैसे रखने बोलिए ना reckless felling of the trees so let's adopt a tree thank you um ananya <coughs> yoga is like a geologist for the society it can show you where to dig and what to dig for but the digging you must do yourself and truly enough here we have utkarsh of standard 12 to show us the front position of breathing and that to free so dig up yourself and learn there comes good morning respected principal teachers and all my dear friends today i am going to inform you how by performing yoga exercises we can increase oxygen concentration in our body so here my video goes on
Yoga is a system of exercises for the body that involves breath control and help us to relax both our mind and body. Yoga has become increasingly popular in the recent about 36 million people practice it in the US alone. According to the International Yoga Federation, about 300 million people practice yoga globally. As we are celebrating Oxygen Week, most of our ideas and views are on the topics which are directly or indirectly related to oxygen. You all must have heard the news of some virus which is trending days. Yes, I am talking about coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, which attacks on the human lungs, making it inflamed and creates breathing problem. So today, I am going to tell you all about a few yoga postures, asanas, and pranayam, which can improve your immunity and can make your lungs stronger to fight against such a deadliest virus if practiced on a regular basis. There are many benefits of practicing this pranayam regularly. It helps to relieve depression, stress, and anxiety. Regular practice has known to be very helpful and useful in treating respiratory disorders such as asthma, bronchitis, etc. Concentration, patience, focus, decision-making ability, and inventiveness also increase. as advantages of this pranayam it improves our lung capacity and oxygenation throughout the body there are many benefits of brahmari pranayam this is the best method to achieve the concentration of mind it opens the blockage and gives a feeling of happiness to the mind and brain beneficial in relieving from hypertension it relaxes the mind and lowers stress helpful in curing paralysis and migraines benefits of matsyasan the stretched upper body allows unrestricted flow thus providing extra oxygen into the lungs it expand the bronchial tubes to permit easier breathing this is especially useful for asthma patients stretching of the neck and spine stabilizes the functions of parathyroid pineal pituitary and adrenal glands thus regulating the hormonal functions within your body this pose also allows you to de-stress and detoxify with ease therefore improving your overall health and happiness There are many benefits of Bhujangasan. It opens up the shoulders and neck to relieve pain, tones the abdomen, it strengthens the entire back and shoulders, it improves flexibility of the upper and middle back, it expands the chest, improves blood circulation, reduces fatigue and stress, useful for people with respiratory disorders. such as asthma benefits of trikonasan this exercise helps to strengthen and stretches the legs trikonasan stretches the hip and spine and increase flexibility expands the chest and shoulders it stretches spinal muscles and increases the spinal range of motion triangle pose helps to increase neck mobility it helps the body to inhale fresh oxygen and nutrients strengthens and tones the muscles of the thighs helps to relieve upper back tension stretches calf muscles hamstrings and hip muscles <music> benefits of vrikshasan it improves balance and stability in the legs it strengthens the ligaments and tendon of the feet it strengthens and tones the entire standing leg up to the buttocks it assists the body in establishing pelvic stability it strengthens the bones of the hips and legs due to the weight bearing nature of the pose builds self confidence and esteem on a metaphysical level 
helps one to achieve balance in other aspects of life. It also increases the body oxygen concentration. As we all know that yoga keeps us fit and healthy physical as well as mentally. It helps us to maintaining oxygen level in our body which is the most important need for each one of us. Keeping this in mind our school has taken a good initiative to add it to the daily routine of the students for their betterment. For this regular yoga classes are being held under the guidance of our principal sir and teachers which indeed is helping us to be fit. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Utkarsh. Thank you so much. It was indeed a very informative one. The ones you have uh, uh, described how to do the yogas to keep ourselves fit and have the pure oxygen flow in our body. Thank you so much. Now, take care of trees. They will take care of you. And here we have before us Varshita, day of class 8A. Who is coming with a uh, poster on the theme Save Tree? Uh, the next to be ready is Anjali of 6A. Presenting before you, Vashita Day of 8A. Next to be ready is Anjali. Good morning, everyone. I am Vashita Day of Standard 8A from the AV Public School CCL Giridi. I am very happy to express my views on this given poster. It teaches us that don't cut trees because trees are our family members. We must treat them like our friends and relatives. If we cut trees, we will reduce our life. I repeat it. If we cut trees, we will reduce our life. Thank you. Thank you, Vashita. Thank you so much. Next on the floor is Anjali of Class 6A. And the next one, Ishan, be ready. Ishan Badani of 6B, be ready. Coming on the floor, Anjali of 6A. Anjali from School CCL Giridi. Have a golden opportunity to express my views on regarding the poster. It teaches us give and take policy. If we protect and hide the plant, they will give us fruits, timber, and pure oxygen. It also approved as you so slowly use it. Thank you. Thank you, Anjali. And now over to Ishan Banayi of Class 6B. Good morning, everyone. Yes, Ishan. Principal sir, principal sir, and teachers. Ishan Banayi of Class 6B have a golden opportunity to express my views regarding the poster. I propose this very clearly, but that we should not only plant the trees but also take care of this. This is our priority. It also teaches us a moral lesson that what is important for us, we must preserve. Thank you. Thank you, Shah. Well done, all three of you. Very well presented. It was all on the theme Save Trees, Our Life Saver. Now, presenting before you, a small skit sending a message. If not now, then never. So jagye, sochye, peer laga, bachaye, peer laga. Kahi der na ho jaye. The participants are Anmol Varma of class 2, uh, 2A and Nabia also of the same class 2A. Anmol Varma and Nabia, please present. Anmol and Nabia. Anmol and Nabia. It seems they have lost their connection. 
A concerned teacher can just look into or oh, it's coming up. Yes. yes. Is it okay, sir? morning to each one of us attending this virtual program. Today, we, the students of CCLDAV, have got a wonderful opportunity to motivate you all to ask it the last breath in this oxygen week. But before you enjoy our skit, our Yash of Standard 11 would like to come forward with some points regarding need of oxygen in this pandemic time. And we all must be knowing the novel coronavirus causes shortness of breath. Shortness of breath is caused due to respiratory tract infection. 
which is a key symptom of covid-19 and when it turns into ads that is acute respiratory distress syndrome then the patient immediately needs oxygen support the sars cov 2 virus affects the epithelial cells which help body to absorb oxygen in this pandemic more than 54.5% of the hospitalized patients needed supplementary oxygen support most of the deaths during covid are due to silent hypoxia and credit for all such crises also goes to him. reckless cutting down of forests excessive use of cfcs acs chemical effluents are leading to such crises pedo ko kaat kaat shehar basane wale pedo ko kaat kaat shehar basane wale corona kaal mein bahi lage hain oxygen plant lagane oxygen plant lagane. let's talk something about oxygen therapy in oxygen therapy and oxygen concentrators air is drawn from atmosphere and extracts nitrogen leaving up to 90 to 96 percentage of oxygen this is very useful for covid patients in this band this doesn't mean that india lacks in oxygen supply but the problem is in cooperation of people infrastructural developments between rural and urban areas and one of the major problems is the lack of cryogenic tanks but i am very sure that in the days to come we will surely able to manage all such problems now at last i would like to say that in this high time we should take a lesson from this situation and try to conserve oxygen from today on we should plant more and more trees because as plants are green gold then oxygen is invisible time plant more trees to get oxygen at last enjoy our skit thank you for your patience for hearing signing off it's yash prashad 11b thank you yash very well done very well said and again and again our children are there to motivate the parents guardians and the general mass who all are seeing that we should be very much cautious about the scarcity of the oxygen that we will find in the air to come so let us plan out today so that we have a better tomorrow here we bring purima of class 11 before you with a beautiful dance it is through a dance she is going to make us realize needs we are polluting our environment cutting down trees and as a result the present oxygen crisis has come up nature needs time to heal itself and this pandemic and lockdown has indeed checked the over exploitation of nature so over to purnima with her dance purnima the floor is yours good morning everyone i am mother earth presenting my situation in fresh environment versus the polluted one <coughs> Oh, <laughs> 
सांसों को भी मिलना मुश्किल शुद्ध हवा का झोंका विकास विज्ञान के नाम पर कैसा है ये ठोका अपना चयन अमल तुमने कैसे आग में झोंका कि मानव अपने कदमों को क्यों न तोड़े रोका कुछ पाने की कीमत कितनी बड़ी तूने चुकाई है खुद अपनी ही सांसों को दिल्ली हवा पिलाई है विज्ञान और विकास की ये कैसी आंधी आई है खुद अपने ही हाथों तूने thank you so thank you purnima thank you very much it was a beautiful presentation we have <clears throat> proceeding ahead we have a budding poet before us and she is twinkle chorasia of standard 12b let's listen to her inspiring poem here comes twinkle uh, chorasia मैं ट्विंकल चौरसिया कक्षा बारहवीं की छात्रा आज आप सबों के सामने ऑक्सीजन पर आधारित एक स्वरचित कविता प्रस्तुत करने जा रही हूँ इस कविता का शीर्षक है ऑक्सीजन कौन लाएगा ए इंसान तू जो अपने कर्मों पर नाश कर रहा है इन तंग गलियों का सन्नाटा यही तो आगाज कर रहा है अभी भी अभी भी वक्त है सुधर जाए राह के मुसाफिर वरना कुदरत भी तेरी बर्बादी का इंतजार कर रहा है वरना कुदरत भी तेरी बर्बादी का इंतजार कर रहा है एक बार मैंने खुदा से पूछा कि जरा सी उलझन में हूँ मैं अभी तक कि ये वक्त हमें अपनों के करीब ला रहा है या अपनों को हमसे दूर किए जा रहा है हमारे अपनों के आसनों का हिसाब हमारे अपनों के आंसुओं का इंसान नहीं मानते हैं पर भगवान हम इंसानों से तो जानवरों का व्यवहार क्यों किए जा रहा है भगवान ने भी क्या खूब जवाब दिया कि जिसने दिन रात बस जहर घोला हो हवा में कि जिसने दिन रात बस जहर घोला हो हवा में जो सोचते हो कि कोई तुम्हारे लिए ऑक्सीजन लाएगा शमशानों और कब्रिस्तानों में मुकाबला करवाने वाले जो उम्मीद ना करो तुम्हारे लिए अस्पताल बनवाएगा यह समय पापों को मिटाने आया है हमें हमारी गलती का एहसास कराने आया है एंड आई आई वांट टू टेक योर अटेंशन टू आर सम कीज रिलेटेड टू ऑक्सीजन वी ब्रीथ 17000 टाइम्स पर डे 20 ट्रिलियन आर यू सी ईच हैज 270 मिलियन ऑक्सीजन बॉडी मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ हीमोग्लोबिन Exercising our lungs regularly is crucial to maintain our respiratory system. Also, the more we panic, the more oxygen level decreases in our body. COVID cases are increasing day by day. The virus enters into our lungs and covers the alveolar surface, through which we face problem in breathing. More than 10 lakh cases were reported in last week, and also in this week. More than five lakh cases. In this wave of COVID-19, there is also a new epidemic of mucormycosis had it started, and it's very difficult for us to maintain this situation because there is a large demand of oxygen, which leads to make our economy down in the international markets because we have to import oxygen from other countries, which cost very high due to COVID. There is a great impact on world's economy, such that industrialists faced a loss of 1.8 trillion dollars last year. They also faced problem due to lack of oxygen and proper functioning of the machines. According to some researchers, if this things goes on, the world will end after two generations. Nowadays we are using masks, but if we doesn't care about our environment. Then we have to carry oxygen cylinder. One oxygen cylinder charges about four thousand to six thousand rupees. Having ten liter of liquefied oxygen, 
and only lasts for three to four hours. Oxygen concentrator is another alternative way. Charges about 1.5 to 2 lakh rupees. Doctors are like God. All are saving our life by putting their life at risk. But there are some others who are taking this situation as an opportunity to gain money. We take bribes from the poor people for beds, medicines, and for oxygen cylinder. On the other hand, smuggling of organs goes on. We can obtain oxygen from the electrolysis of water, but this is not a cost-efficient process. We can also use CNG or hydrogen fuels in place of petroleum products, but these fuels also are very high cost. At last, I want to conclude that if we are doing in the same way, then the day will come when we have to leave our planet and to reach another planet because we human make our Earth the worst. Thank you. Thank you, Twinkle. Very truly said by you. Abhi vakt hai sudhar ja ay raha ke musafir. Abhi vakt hai sudhar ja ay raha ke musafir. Varna, kudrat bhi teri parbadi ka intizar kar raha hai. Varna, kudrat bhi teri parbadi ka intizar kar raha hai. Very true, very true. If not now, never. Thank you. <clears throat> Life has thrown an interesting curve ball at us with the coronavirus pandemic and the subsequent lockdown of the country. I am sure each one of us are processing unprecedented time differently and trying to understand what is happening to each of us and the world around us. In this time of lockdown, as fam families are forced to spend more time together, and learn to be with each other again, we are beginning to see the power of art and play in engagement, healing connection and belongings. Let's not forget that art and play are helping millions of families get through each day with joy, love, and the power of art and play in our lives is further validity. The skit titled The Last Breath reflects children's ability to find their own creativity, invite imagination into their lives, and learn to be with themselves, their thoughts, their dreams, and their imagination. Through the skit, they will be sending a great message to the society, showing their love and concern for their parents. In spite of their busy schedule, They're supporting the vulnerable elderly people, elderly children and those living alone. Let us watch our students performing. So over to Prakash of Standard 12B and let us see the skit that they are presenting for us. Good morning, everybody. I will be starting the presentation in five seconds. Lockdown, death, 
pain all around me. Never had faced such situation for a, such a long time. Do you know about the symptoms of this disease? Yes, Mama. Now in the second wave, it is the dreaded mutant which is causing all the havoc. Some people, when they get this kind of coronavirus, look like they just have regular cold. They might sneeze and cough and have running nose. They may also get fever and suffer from gastrointestinal problem. You know, Mama, older and sick people like Grandma and Grandpa can get the worst effect of the Mama, Papa seems to have some symptoms. I am really worried about them. Please ask him to go for a Okay, Beta. I will go for the RT-PCR test tomorrow. I have taken all the precautions. <coughs> but <coughs> positively, I will go for the test. No need to worry, my child. It seems you all have become very sensible and caring. Hello? Hello? Am I speaking to Mr. Pandey? No, I'm his daughter. How can I help you? I am from the health department. Your father had tested COVID positive. What? What are you saying? This can't be true. Yes, now he should stay at home in isolation and should consult a doctor. And his oxygen saturation level, blood pressure, body temperature needed to be frequently monitored. And if his oxygen saturation level goes beyond 90, he is needed to be hospitalized. Take care. For any assistance, call our helpline. Okay, sir. Thank you for the information. What? What to do now? Feeling nervous but have to face the situation sensibly. Papa needs to be looked after properly. Let us tell Mama. Yes, Peter. I heard the conversation. But you please don't worry. First, let us consult the doctor. We will go for telemedicine. Please check whether the slots are free or not. Hello, am I talking to Dr. Sheikh? Yes, Dr. Sheikh speaking. Can I have a talk with your father, please? Hello, doctor. I'm already having breathing problems. Yes, Mr. Pandey, I saw your report. You need not panic. Stay in home isolation, go for steam inhalation, and do proper rest. Also, take the medicines at time, and also have a proper diet. I'm sending the prescription in just a few minutes, okay? And one thing more, if oxygen saturation level goes down, please consult me immediately. Beta, Beta, do something. Take me to the hospital. Call the doctor again. Please. Oh God, please help us. Please. No beds available anywhere. No oxygen cylinder also. Oh God, please help us. Wait, don't worry, I'm calling the doctor. Wait. Hello, doctor. It's an emergency. Please, please, please send her as ambulance as soon as possible. My father is not responding. He's not saying anything. Please save my father. I don't know what happened to him. What? Hospitalize Mr. Pandey as fast as possible. He needs oxygen support. Nurse, please come here. Please send the ambulance as fast as possible.
Papa, Papa, what happened to you? Mama, Papa is not saying anything. Papa, wake up. Papa, Papa, wake up. Sorry, beta. I'm not able to save your father due to the scarcity of oxygen. We tried our level best, but can't able to manage oxygen cylinder on time. So sorry, beta. Take care. Doctor, what happened to my husband? My husband is responding. Please tell me. What happened to him? Please tell me. Please say something. What happened to him? Why he is not responding? Please. Please say something. I'm so sorry, ma'am. Your husband is no more. It was indeed a very heart-touching, outstanding performance of people. Thanks a lot, children, for taking the pain and planning it out in such a beautiful way, which I'm sure must have touched the heart of many people around. This is what is happening. And that is how this is school, DAV Public School, CCL Gridi had taken the pain to make an awareness, to create an awareness about this oxygen, which we can get free if we plant more and more of trees. And also, we should know about the yoga, the prone positioning, which can be settled down at home at a very early stage. And of course, we have to rush to the hospital as well, but the first aid can be given there at home. So let us know about it, learn it, and of course, plant as many trees as you can. Thank you. It was outstanding, mind blowing indeed. And now I move on to Rahul Mishra of class 12B, who would sum up the entire show. Rahul Mishra. What you just witnessed was nothing but the reality. The harsh truth. It seems not every cloud has a silver lining. But the question still remains. Could something have been had done differently? Kya kuch alag kiya ja sakta tha? And the answer is yes. The Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has released a detailed guide on how proning can help increase your blood oxygen levels till the health authorities arrive to the rescue. The main thing is that Proning, a very simple yet very helpful procedure can help save lives. 
सिर्फ पेट के बल लेट जाने धीमी और गहरी सांसें लेने से आपका ब्लड ऑक्सीजन लेवल बढ़ाया जा सकता है द प्रोसीजर गो समथिंग लाइक दिस आप जहाँ कहीं भी हैं लेट जाएं एंड द कॉलर बोन रीजन दिस रीजन यहाँ पे एक तकिया रखें कीप अप पिलो हेयर एंड टेक डीप ब्रेथ्स स्लो डीप ब्रेथ्स डू नॉट पैनिक टर्न फ्रॉम साइड टू साइड करवट बदलें धीमी धीमे सांसें लेते रहें अलॉट द हेल्थ अथॉरिटीज दैट्स द फर्स्ट थिंग यू शुड डू and do not panic panic and anxiety in these situations can lead to a very much increased heart rate and irregular breathing which is the last thing you want in such situations so panic anxiety are the last thing you should do pruning is the first procedure that has to be carried out in such situations aur bas ant mein itna kehna chahunga gaur se suniyega jeet ho na ho lekin ladai chalni chahiye jeet ho na ho lekin ladai chalni chahiye सारी बुनियाद टिकी उम्मीदों पर ये नहीं हिलनी चाहिए सारी बुनियाद टिकी उम्मीदों पर ये नहीं हिलनी चाहिए सिर्फ हंगामा खड़ा करना हमारा मकसद नहीं सिर्फ हंगामा खड़ा करना हमारा मकसद नहीं सारी कोशिश ये है ये सूरत बदलनी चाहिए सारी कोशिश ये है ये सूरत बदलनी चाहिए एंड विद दिस वी द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ ट्वेल्व बी कंक्लूड आर प्रेजेंटेशन थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच राहुल of course i think it was the best presentation of the day heart touching and alarming sending a message take care if not now then never 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 thank you and uh, now it's um, with the end of this entire show i now request our admirable principal sir for his for declaring the result of the various competitions held during the week this oxygen week and also of the tobacco day that was held earlier on 30th of june now and together with that i would request him to bless all of us indeed we also need your blessing sir so over to our principal sir bhaiya abhinav sir please thank you during this two days program uh, all the teachers and uh, our creative children group of children they have created a very blessed atmosphere of oxygen with their words and activity and thanks to their parents also that they have motivated their children provided right environment to present uh, their creativity so we have with us our cca department has conducted several activity on 30th of june one activity was conducted uh, it was on no tobacco day celebration large number of children has participated in different activity and the results are with us i'm going to just announce the result of the children all the children those who have participated they they have given their best but definitely someone has to get the rank through their judges as per the criteria they have fixed so the result is like this it was slogan writing competition english and am i audible Yes. So, the slogan writing competition in English in junior group, and the third position goes to Khushi Tengaich of Class Five B, Hansraj House. Okay. Congratulations, Khushi. and the second position goes to sonakshi gupta of 5b hansraj house 
and the first position goes to vidisha bhattacharya ji of 4a vivekanand house so congratulation to khushi sonakshi and vidisha for this their beautiful slogan writing competition and now the slogan writing competition result for in hindi the third position goes to shrest chakraborty of 5b tagore house well done shrest congratulations second position goes to ayush bhushan of 4a dayanand ayush well done congratulations and the first position goes to rituraj of 4a hansraj house many many congratulations to all these winners rituraj first position ayush and shrestha and second and third position well done all of you are very creative talented children well done now one poster writing competition was also conducted on notovaco the celebration and many children have participated the results are like this there is a tie in third position srijita chatterjee 6a hansraj house and kumari muskan of 7b hansraj house both of them grab third position well done then shama pravin of 6a and aditya roy of 7a shama 6a vivekanand house and aditya roy 7a dayanand house both got second position well done very good and varshita de of 7a hansraj house got the first position congratulations to all these winners of no tobacco day competition then since last two day we have been celebrating variety of activities for this oxygen day celebration the call of the hour the one competition was a speech competition in english in group 9 to 12 senior group the topic of the competition was the life source and life force of human being the result is like this raj ratan raj ratan of 9b tagore house got the third position yash prashad and mohammad tanjil husain of 11c yash prashad of 11b and tanjil husain of 11c got the second position congratulations to both of them tanjil from vivekanand house and yash prashad from dayanand house both of them got the second position well done and the first position goes to nabrun halder of 10b hansraj house well done all of them has delivered a very powerful informative uh, speech based on facts and figures very good and created a good level of awareness about oxygen nice then another competition was organized it was speech competition in hindi in 9 to 12 group the topic was oxygen hai oxygen hi hai pran ka aadhar oxygen hi hai pran ka aadhar and large number of children had participated in this competition third position goes to two children one is ankita sharma of 11d tagore house another is shreya kumari 9a again from tagore house both of them grabbed the third position well done congratulation then second position goes to two of our children one is satyam kumar of 10b 
Vivekanand House, and another is Trishala Jha of 11A Tagore House. Both of them got the second position in this Hindi speech competition. Then first position goes to Aditi Mandal of 9A Tagore House and Shikha Kandwe of 9B Vivekanand House. So uh, two children were placed at the first position. Well done to all these winners. They are the leaders in their field. And we feel proud of you. Well done. Then another competition was organized in the school. It was poem writing competition. It is again in the group of 9 to 12. Poem writing competition. The theme is same. So many children has come up with their creativity, written beautiful poem, very touching one. The third position goes to two of our children. One is Savitri Kumari of 11C Hansra's house. Another is Mithi Pandey of 11C Vivekanand house. Both deserve lots of congratulations. Well done. Then second position goes to uh, uh, Navarun Halder of 10B Hansra's house. Well done. And the first position goes to MD Ariz Ryan of 11B Hansara's house. Congratulations. Congratulations to Aris, Nabarun, Shavitri, and Mithi. Well done. All the best. Keep exploring. Po writing a poem uh, needs a deep understanding of the theme. You have taken a dip into this uh, given theme by CCA department and uh, introspected, innovated, and uh, taken out the, your feeling. This is a good work, great work, I should say. Wonderful. Nice. And then another competition was poster presentation competition. For, uh, for the group class 6 to 8, poster presentation competition class 6 to 8. The result is like this. The third position goes to Ishan Vadani, 6B Tagore House. And there are two children in the second position in poster presentation. One is Anjali Kumari, 6A Vivekanan House. And another is Arohi Gupta, 8B Hansra's house. Both of them grabbed the second position in poster presentation competition. And the first position goes to Varsita Day again in, uh, uh, of 8A Hansra's house. Well done, Varsita. All the best to all the children. Very good. And then there, were, there was a poem recitation competition in the group 3 to 8. And the result is like this, poem recitation. Recitation is also a powerful art and children know it very well. How to recite a poem to give a maximum impact, impact on the listener. They know it. And that is how they have been judged on this first, second and third position. The result is like this. Ananya Gupta of 5B Hansra's house got the third position. Well done, Ananya. And Shonakshi Gupta of 5B Hansra's house got the second position. And Sreshtha Chakravarti of 5B Tagore house got the first position. Congratulations to all these winners of poem recitation competition. Well done. And then another competition was organized in the group of three to eight, it was slogan writing competition in English. And the result is like this. The third position goes to Dhruv Kumar of 7B Tagore House. Dhruv 7B Tagore House got the third position. Mishab, Mishab Mumtaz got 
The second position, C is from standard 3B Tagore House, Mishab Mumtaz. And the first position goes to Maruf Mumtaz of 7A Vivekanand House. Well done. Congratulations, Maruf, Mishab, and Dhruv for this wonderful presentation in slogan writing competition English. And then another competition is slogan writing competition in Hindi in the group 3 to 8. And the result is like this. Khushi of 5B Hansra's house got the third position. Second position goes to Ayus Bhusan of 4A Dayanand house. And the first position goes to Isha Kumari of 5B Hansra's house. Congratulations to all these three talented children, Isha, Ayush, and Khushi. Well done. So, at the end, so a lot of competition, a lot of activity that were organized during these last two, three days. And I thanks to the vibrant team of the school teachers and CCA department who has taken pain to motivate and prepare the children for such a competition. And this is really a powerful platform for the student to, in, to recognize themselves, what they are, what are the talents hidden in them and improve them to, uh, with their encouragement. And thanks to all the parents and guardian who has supported and motivated and prepared their children at home uh, for such a powerful presentation. Really credit goes to them also. They are the powerful backbone for their children and who could be the better uh, friend, philosopher and guide for the children when they are at their home, their parents. So they also deserves appreciation and congratulations for the wonderful presentation of these children. Mm -hmm. So thanks to everyone and uh, let us hope that more and more children will come up in with their own hidden talent uh, with a lot of opportunity that the CCA department keeps on giving and preparing children for such activity. Let us come up with the integrated method of learning everything. Learning science with the beauty of arts and innovating arts with the knowledge of science. So let us prove our worth and thanks to everyone for this Oxygen Day celebration. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for all your words of appreciation for the children and the teachers, the entire team, which really has worked hard to, hard to make this program uh, come a success. It was indeed the parents who had been motivating their children at home. Um, and that was all needed, which you have thanked them as well. And uh, thank you for your inspirational words and blessings. Now... This, it is time now to accord heartfelt thanks to everyone. And for this, I request our Vice President, Mr. Ajit Tiwari, sir, to do the honor. Perhaps Tiwari ji might be having his class. Right. See, Madam, you can please right. uh, accord big thanks. Uh, yes, uh, friends, all the viewers, guardians, my fellow colleagues, my participating students and the viewers, students, all of you, I extend a very heartful thanks to all of you for the pain and endeavor that you have taken to make this program to come to a great success. At first, the very first thanks goes to our visionary principal who has thought of the idea of having this thing to be celebrated and which motivated all the teachers of the school to come up with new ideas and 
They then ran after the students and the students, of course, they have done wonderful, wonderful. Yesterday's presentation was also coming as far as with today's presentation. It was a very hard touching presentation by students of girls very weak, very hard. This was the scenario. This was the scenario when we were facing during this March, April uh, time. And this has been reflected here. And see the beauty, how the children have performed so well. The, the acting that they have done. Every action spoke the feeling, heartfelt feeling, that she is worried about her husband. The dire need of the oxygen. Hats off. Hats off to all my participants. Wonderfully performed. Wonderfully done. And a big, big thank you to all the parents who are the guiding force, of course, at home of their um, children. Of course, a heartfelt thanks to my colleagues who have chose, taken the pain to choose the students, to select the students, to perform well, and they had been rehearsing with them. Thank you, friends. Thank you very much for taking the pain. I definitely extend my thanks to the IT department, which, I mean, who's constantly working with me all the time when such a program takes place. The IT department, hats off to you because it was your tireless job that has been making the program a great success. And every program that is gaining success because of the IT department, the backbone of the function. Subhash, uh, Mr. Ajit, Mr. Ghoshal, all of them have been trying hard to make up something new, something um, that could be made in such a way that becomes very easy and flawless. Thank you. Of course, thanks to um, these staff of our school who have been ready with all their effort to support the school system to get a stand. And of course, last but not the least, once again, a big, big thank you to our Once again, for taking us on the right track. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. It was indeed your endeavor without anyone in my thanks. With this, I wind up the program. I'm going ahead. I would um, like to end up the program by thanking the Almighty. And let us pray that there is peace all around us. And for this, I would invite uh, Dilip Kumar, sir. Um, Matthew sir, or Dilip sir, here for uh, this Shanti part. Yes. Dilip sir, you are here. Dilip sir, please. 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 Dilip sir, केचन जनाः विश्वमिश्रित रसायन पदार्थान गंगायाह जले नदियाह जले शिकंती ही वातावरणम से प्रदूषण प्रवंती एवं न कर्तव्यम् ब्रिक्षाम नम आदर्शन को हो और वे मिलते हैं शांति पाठन शांति हिप्पे कर्म शांति आप शांति तो Thank you.